Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to cover the subject of what do I need to study to be successful on the GED math. So we're going to be talking about the GED math test, and we're going to be answering the question, what to study. Now, this is such a big question because so many people... Uh, jump on the internet uh, and YouTube, Google, and all these great, amazing tools, and they really uh, find that there is so much out there. But because there's so much out there, it's really difficult to really uh, pinpoint in on what is really important. Because when you're taking a test, the one thing you know from the jump is that you don't have to get every single question correct to be successful. Uh, so then, if that's true, then what do you need to focus on? So what I'm going to show you here is a variety of math pieces, okay? And so you got to really start thinking about, well, what do I got to put in? So, you know, thinking about this area here is kind of your brain. So this is your brain here. And then you got to kind of think about, you know, what, you know, what can I put in it? You know, do I take this percents? Well, yeah, I mean, you definitely have to know some basic percents uh, uh, to, to be successful in this test. Uh, well, do I put some fractions in there? Yeah, you definitely got to put some fractions in there. And then thinking about the slope intercept form, you know, the y equals mx plus b. You got to put a little bit of that in there. And then you start thinking about, well, you know, you know that's good. But then, you know, can you graph an equation? So you put that in there. And then you start kind of thinking about, you know, hey, well, I need to know some some shapes. And so, you know, you got to put that in there. And then you think, well, you know, but what about the Pythagorean theorem? Isn't that on there? Yep, that's on there. You got to put that in there. And then you have these other things over here, like the quadratic. And maybe I'm going to put that kind of half in, half out, because maybe you get some of it, but you don't totally get it all. You know, simplifying polynomials and that kind of stuff. Maybe you get some of that, but don't get it all. Uh, ratios, you know, maybe you get some of that, but don't get it all, you know, uh, dealing with radicals, you know. So the idea here is that there's a lot of things that you're going to see online. There's a lot of things that you're going to see on the Internet, and you have to have a way to simplify all of this stuff. You have to have a way to get this into your brain here in a way that makes sense, in a way that you can go and take the GED test and have success. So now, for this reason, I put together a tool for you uh, to help you to at least begin to set this out, because this is really my specialty as a GED teacher. This is really my expertise as a GED teacher, is putting together a step-by-step -step program for you, showing you how to be successful. So to that end, uh, what I've developed here is uh, what's called an ebook, and that just simply means it's a book that you can access online. Um, and so uh, in the notes of this video, there's going to be a link. And you click on that link and you can get access to this ebook. And so what I do in this ebook is I show you the top four algebra problems that you must know in order to pass the GED math test. So again, I'm going to show you the top four uh, algebra problems that you need to know. Uh, need to know how to do them, need to know how to work with them, need to understand the different forms that they may come in in order to have success on the GED math test. And again, I'm sharing this with you because this is really my area of expertise. This is really where I shine as a GED teacher. Um, in my experience, I've been able to figure out the things that you need to know in order to be successful. Now, this is just a start. So I don't want you to take this and say, hey, I got this ebook and now I'm ready to just go take the GED test. I am just lining out a few of the things that you need to know to be successful. I hope you find it helpful. If you do find it helpful, go ahead and give me a like on this video. If you uh, find it helpful, tell other people about it. Uh, and you can always go to my website, uh, mygedlive.com to learn more. Thank you.